So after a week off, I'm back for a Friday night cocktail. So tonight I'm going to be making a version of a Moscow Mule, um, but I'm going to be doing mine with bourbon. So I'm going to start off with a copper mug. Now it's not truly copper. It is lined with, you know, some other kind of metal because copper on its own is poisonous. I actually got these little ice trays that make these teeny little ice cubes that I'm going to be trying. Um, obviously like some broken up ice is better than using huge ice cubes though. So I've got my copper mug full of those. And it's a pretty easy drink to build. So I'm gonna start with ginger beer. Now I use non-alcoholic ginger beer. This brand is actually really good. I'm not you know, being paid by them, but it's Fever Tree. And they have a regular and a light. And this is the best light one I've found. And I'm actually gonna dump in the whole bottle. Um, it's escaping my mind right now. I'll try to include it in one of the stories, but there's a really good, this isn't my favorite uh, full sugar brand. So I'll put the, um, something about that, but uh, it's a really good one as well. So anyways, I'm gonna put this whole bottle in and I'm gonna use Buffalo Trace bourbon in mine. So a standard Moscow Mule is with vodka, um, which is what my sample drink is over here, but I'm making, I prefer it with bourbon, which is called a Kentucky, uh, a Kentucky Mule or a horse feather. So I'm gonna add two shots of bourbon Okay. And one half ounce of lime juice. All right, this is a really easy drink to make. I build it in the cup. I don't need a shaker, I just stir it up. The copper mug helps keep it very cold. And this, especially as I start to stir this, the cup's actually gonna get cold to the touch. And that's what you want. So it keeps it nice and cool. Your ice shouldn't melt away all the way. And I'm actually gonna typically top it with lime. I put some bourbon cherries on there as well since I made it with uh, the Kentucky Mule version. And I'm just gonna put those right on top of there. And it's actually a drink that started in the 1940s when ginger beer made its way to New York and LA, the big cities. Uh, I read 1943 is the first uh, Moscow Mule uh, being drank. So uh, let me give it a little try here. Now this drink is definitely not for everyone. It's um, it's got the ginger kick to it. It's really got a spice to it. I like the ginger flavor. Ginger beer is very strong on ginger. So there are some you could probably buy that maybe have a less ginger taste, but I prefer the, the nice bite to it. Really helps offset the sweetness from uh, the lime juice. And um, it really makes for a good drink. It's a really good balance with the bourbon though. So let me give it a second drink here. Okay. Well, um, hopefully you like mules and see they're very easy to make. You can buy all the ingredients. You've probably got a lot of the stuff, maybe except for ginger beer. You can pick up a four pack or six pack of those. Make some mules, try it with different liquors. Let me know which, uh, what your favorite is. You can also add different flavors to it. I've seen lots of blueberry um, or other sweeteners you can add to it. Um, but have a great weekend.